is an active form of We're here in Trafalgar Square for Amnesty's demonstration like in solidarity with the people you. involved in the Arab Spring. We're joined by Salil Shetty, the General many Secretary of Amnesty. Salil, there's been a lot of amazing people. events over the past 13 the months. Um, but how India. hopeful and confident can we be that the outcomes will be better than the past with genuine freedoms and human rights and democracy for the people? I think it's a one-way ticket for dictators. There's no going back. Uh, it's not a question of if, it's only a question of when. Um, it's going to be difficult, the transitions are going to be challenging, but I think the beautiful thing is that people are saying we're not going to accept this nonsense anymore. We're going to have an Arab Spring every day in every part of the world. And uh, one thing that's been brought up, you know, in particular Bahrain, where our governments, Western governments, have been supportive of a lot of the other ones, but in Bahrain there seems to be a deafening silence. So why is that and what can we do to change that? Well, obviously, you know, the United States has a strategic interest. Our governments are doing what they always do. They put their interests and their business propositions and their military uh, priorities over and above the human rights of ordinary people. Uh, but, you know, we've had an independent commission there. The challenge is to get the government now to implement the recommendations because the independent commission said exactly what Amnesty reports have been saying, massive human rights violations. Um, and I think, you know, we're going to keep putting pressure. I'm, I, I'm, in the short term, it's going to be difficult, but we're going to win. Uh, and Amnesty gives a lot of support and guidance to activists all around the world. But what can you do when you meet, you know, meeting ministerial level of countries, both Western countries and countries where there's change happening? What, can, what access yeah, can you do? I just come back last night from Norway, you know, talking to the, the, the foreign minister of Norway to put pressure on his Russian counterpart because they are neighbours, they have good relationships. So we keep pressing buttons wherever we can. Germany, Russia, my own country, India, for the first time actually voted in favour of the resolution. So things are changing, you know, that's why the Syrian government, the Russians need to know it's not business as usual. Thanks for joining us. This is Clement McMahon, Vision on TV, here in Trafalgar Square.